Hello everyone, I'm Sam and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Last time we sat through the opening cutscenes and were introduced to Velvet, her brother, and her town. We also went through some tutorial battles, and uh, I think now we're probably ready to get the story started. Hi, Selica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. That's sad. I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean! See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. How do we actually have to cook? It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know. But, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Man, this is just so homely and sweet. 
there's no way that this isn't going to blow up in everyone's face. Oh. I think I actually didn't get the objective. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've gotta cook for you and Arthur since Celica is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <coughs> Luffy, what's wrong? Uh oh. Is it time for the other shooter drop? Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny, is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy, that's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you? I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. False alarm. The sickly child isn't dead yet. I think he's a party member, though, so I don't expect him to die. Or at least not for, you know, a long time. Good boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. I mean, it's kind of a Japan thing. But the relationship between Velvet and Laffy is a little creepy. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Laffy? You little... Where have you gone? If only you had a compass to track him down. You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Even though I don't like big uh, Bioshock 1 objective indicators, I do like having a tracker for my current objective in a JRPG. 
Luffy set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free. But he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet, I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Darn, I was hoping to pick up a party member. Let's check our big map. Okay, looks like he's in the Tranquil Woods. No, he might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. If I know anything about JRPGs right, and anime out. tropes. That reminds me. Not bad. That reminds me, I wanted to change some of the volume settings a little bit. Let's turn these down by one. Leave those at full. Just double check, make sure it actually saved, and it did. Good. Luffy! Velvet, can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little. You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. Did it's we get a party member? Hooray! No, probably not. Let's get into a fight and just see if the new audio settings are good. Okay, this is much better. Is that all? Hey, a skit. Remember how we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right, because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. 
Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you, too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure. And wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Cool. How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? Apple boo. What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Celica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cute. Not gonna fight you. So what I'm going to do for random encounters is I'm going to get into encounters um, as I go through an area, just to, you know, show off the enemies on camera and stuff. But when it comes to actually grinding and leveling up and, you know, all that nonsense, I'll do that off camera. Uh, just to, you know, spare all of you the suffering. <sighs> just look at all these! This place never changes, does it? It does two change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh. A demon! Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Hey, I like that transition. You have to. Oh Don't shit. Let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too. But please, go. Dang it. Okay, none of the things I have deal damage. It's It's just like Arthur said. I have to do this. Oh, Velvet, look out. Stop! Face me, demon! Velvet. Is 
is this? Why? I get home. Velvet! Fluffy, you're all right. Ugh. Sorry, it's all my fault. No, if you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. I am a total sucker for that trope. Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! All right. Music's changed, mood's changed. Well, we need to find Laffy Set and he's not in here. So I guess demons are just werewolves? Full moon comes out and people transform? What on earth is going on? This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, let's go to our world map. No. The village. Okay, so I can get into a fight with these. I guess let's try fighting. Okay, so this is the escape tutorial. I guess you just tank the hits. Oh, well, we're stunned. Okay, that's a little that's a little trickier than I probably should be. I like that we can't just fight these though and we have to run away. But I mean if this is what's going on, how the hell did Laffy said get all the way out here? We would have had to make it through all those werewolves. Hopefully we'll learn a little bit about the rules of becoming a demon. Like, are we talking straight up werewolves, get bit, become a werewolf kind of thing? Well, let's go ahead and save right here because I feel a cutscene coming on.
I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, as always, I'm Sam, this has been Tales of Berseria, and I hope to see you next time. Until then. <laughs>